Okay, welcome back to possibly the last time we'll be uploading. Because we're going up against, well, that's, sorry, that's not true. The second to last possible because I'm going to be attempting Omega as well. But possibly the second to last video where we're going to be going up against the final boss. Ah, uh, give you a little bit of information on what I'm doing right now. Again, I told you last time I'm going to have two people singing constantly. That's going to be Lena and Krill. I'm going to have Ferris and Bart on keeping everyone alive. And you'll be seeing understanding why when he's constantly putting stone on us and doing other things. There's a, quite a few ways to take out the last boss. There's kicking his butt normally. Hold on. Which means just uh, buffing up, powering up. Mm. Might need to take off the Hermes sandals temporarily. Um, I did put Hermes sandals on, but they're going to get in the way right now. So I'm just going to put on a couple rings. Um, there's, again, back to a few ways to beat the final boss. There's a ridiculous amount of tactics. Again, you can just straight up beat him up, going for damage and damage alone. You gotta be kidding me. Come on, game. I'm just trying to get the hell out of here. I am in no mood to fight. There's another tactic where you could be cheap. Using the bard's ability to hide. And turning one of your team members into a zombie. You can, in a sense, get a setup where you can constantly have them fight, reflecting off their own body. And the enemy can't do anything about it. Physical damage, instant death, all these things, spells, do nothing to a zombie. They're already dead. You have to purify them to get rid of them. And as long as you're hiding, as long as one person's hiding and alive, then technically you didn't get a game over because you have a playable character. I'm not doing that method. I don't see a reason I should. The method I am going to do, because I don't have the ability to go all out raw strength, Spells, physical attacks, whatever. Without relying on luck. I'm gonna go with the bard pattern. Remember those songs that when I sing them, I can't use that character anymore, but they constantly raise my stats. How it works is, every time... Basically, you can't see it, but their turn is being expended constantly. They get in turns. But you don't see the bar fill up. Every time they would technically get a turn, that's when your stat would increase by one. So if I'm playing the speed song, you know, say my speed right now is 34. Well, that takes a few seconds to fill up to get my ATV bar. So as soon as it does, it becomes 35. Then it would empty. Then it would take a few more seconds to fill up. Then it becomes 36. And it becomes faster and faster, faster, faster process over and over and over again. And it affects the party. Not just the caster. Why is this important? Well, we're going to max out our stats as much as possible to make this battle go smoothly. Because at max speed, the last boss will not even get a turn, or if anything, just a few turns depending on how well I do this. Um, I'm not the best at this strategy. I did get it to work for me last time. But again, I don't usually go into the last boss bard, so this is only going to be my second attempt at this. Hopefully I don't screw it up.
Now, I'm going to have the Hermes Sandal on because, again, increasing your speed means technically getting turns sooner, which means getting more stats quickly. Win-win. And the first thing I'm going to be working on is our speed song. Because, again, the faster we move, the faster we get stats. This treasure chest is the one I'm not opening. That's Shinryu. I am not opening. Alright. To the left is where I'm not going. Hi, right, nice to meet you, Crystal Dragon. Bye. My only concern is I did not stock up on stone cures. I only have 10. That could be a problem. So. Because he's going to constantly petrify us. And there's nothing I can do about it. So I'm only going to be able to heal it ten times. Which will put a limitation on me. So I might end up messing this up. Last time I did this I had a lot more gold meals. Alright. Time to put back on the Hermy Sandal. And I have the chicken knife on, but I will not be using the dancing dagger. It is too risky. I'm just going for the power. Holy Lance. Apollo's heart, because that's going to help me on the second form. Alright. And an assassin dagger just for the speed. Again, I'm going to be focusing on speed first with the songs and my level are the two songs I'm going to be playing. Swift and let me work on Heroes Rhyme. I might put Mighty March on early just to get some kind of heal effect going. But even if regeneration isn't that impressive, it'll get better as our level increases. So, one, two, three. Once I think these two are satisfactory, I'm going to do this one to increase our strength, and this one to increase our magic ability as well. Our magic will increase the magic lamp. You probably forgot I even had this thing. Well, it's time to use it gonna help us also on the second form. And speaking of which, it's time to start moving some stuff around. Okay. And again, I think I'm okay to go in now. I'm just gonna kind of glance around a little bit. Keep the Aegis. I'm gonna go flame shield on this one. think we're good. Alright, let's get the story out of the way, and let's see how well this goes. Final boss. It took you long enough, but now you are too late. <laughs> Finally, it is in my grasp. The greatest power known to man. The power to control the universe. The power of the void.
Behold! I was a tree the whole time! I will crush all who stand in my way. I think I'll begin with your precious friends. I hope you'll enjoy watching your companions be sucked into the void. I swear, is there like a TV following us at all times? How do we see and, and constantly what's going on in the outside world? Even from a jail cell. Doesn't make sense. Oh no! No, Boko! Ah! Bring him back! He's finally starting a family! Yeah, you can have sitting mid. That's fine. Stop it! Let them go! Mwahaha! <laughs> and now you too will meet your end inside the void! Yo! Parts, stand up! Dad? Zizet? Kelger? Grandpa! Galuf. Enter the Dawn Warriors. For a moment, with that sparkle behind their back, they look like fairies. Bart, Lana, Ferris, Thrill! We'll hold off the void. You kids take care of X-Death. The only ones who can save the world from the power of darkness are the Warriors of Light. That's you! Now go! Man, we're just farting sparkles all over the place. Get that glitter out of my house. What? Why is the power of the void disappearing? No matter. Take this! Funny how they change things from version to version. Father! Papa? The void used to actually be black. Especially at this point. Now! This is it! Take your chance! Destroy X Death! Onward, light warriors! It's time to chop down a tree! X Death? You'd better get ready, cause here we come! Okay, so like I said, first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is Mighty March, followed by Swift Song. Okay. Now that we got that going, Swift Song, let's forget the hero's rhyme. And my job is just to keep them alive. They're gonna constantly play their song. So, something like that comes along. And I gotta take care of them. There's no holding back here on items. It's time to use up everything we got. And we're gonna start with this crap already. Here it is. This is what I was warning about. Petrify. 
not enough to just knock us out. Oh no, he's got a freaking petrified too. Alright, back to Heroes Rhyme for you. I gotta get them up, I gotta heal their status, and I gotta heal their light. It's ridiculous. Whew, just in time. Our stats are looking pretty good, I can see it already. We're fill uh Ferris at least filled up at about sixty something speed points. You can tell by where he starts at when his turn's over. There's no indication, you just kinda have to pay attention to the speed bar. And then just have patience. This is going to take time, but trust me, it's worth it. Look at where Bart's is already. Look at where Ferris started. They're almost full already. This is the power of the bar. It's at their full potential. I didn't have much use for them before. In this battle, I'm using their songs. 100% to raise my stats as much as a possible. Look at that. Just take a second look at that where Lena's bar is. And she's was dead. She hasn't even gotten her turn yet. So that being said, our speed is pretty dang good. Um, I'm going to keep working on Hero's Rhyme for a little bit more. I'm kind of hoping Brill gets take out next so I can go ahead and get her switched to a different thing. I think our speed is actually pretty good. Um, I know it's not maxed. That's just because Lena and Krill both have the the speed rings on. But I'm happy with that. That's going to mean a world of difference in our next battle. sure you can see the regeneration getting better over time as well. It's doing a lot more healing. Alright, who you taking out? Not good.
I was kind of hoping you'd do that. Alright, kind of like to take out Krill now. I think we got enough speed. I'd like to start working on strength and magic here soon. Alright, so be it. Um... Ooh, tough call, tough call. I think I'm going to work on... physical. No, I'm going to work on magical first. Alright, anytime you want to stop crew, it'll be nice. Again, I think we got pretty good speed going on here. You really don't want to stop Krill, do you? You just want to keep beating up Lena. I'm kind of not liking that. Now, I don't want to finish you off too early, but I wouldn't mind weakening a little bit. You're going to make me kill Krill myself, aren't you? There we go. I had to do it the mean way. I had to get Krill to stop. She did enough with speed. Now, I want physical strength boost. Alright, this is it. Once I feel satisfied with time passed here, there's nothing left to do except kick his butt. Uh-oh, we got taken out. Of course. Seems to be a constant here. Again, you can't see my stats, but trust me, they're constantly going up. The more I drag this out, the better. Okay, so in the next battle, I'm going to be using magic lamp a lot and if any luck you could take out two forms of its second form two parts of it Odin for instant death on the back end and break uh, Shote on the, um, the bottom part if Shote doesn't work I need to take out that bottom part quick because the Al Algares, sort of, I think, I can't remember what it's called, Algames, Algares, something like that, um, can do some heavy damage to the party. And then the last two parts have to be taken out at the same time, because if you don't, the script of the boss changes. And instead of each of the four parts doing their own thing in their own unique style, whatever parts last absorbs all the abilities and all the moves and speed combined and becomes a threat. But if you take them out at the same time, then you just have to deal with their normal skills and normal stats. So 
So I'm gonna give this uh, another minute at least before I start worrying about moving on. Alright, I just want to see something real quick, how my uh, magic's coming along. Nice! Magic's coming along very nice. I think I'm happy. I think I'm ready to proceed on. I may not be maxed completely. Uh-oh. may not be maxed completely, but it, it's pretty high up there. He's going to start feeling some pain. So let's get you in the front row. Get you in the front row, and let's continue with the throw. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I like to see. We're ready. In fact, with this kind of power, I might not even need to worry about the magic lamp. We want the truth. Uh-oh. Waited too long. That's gonna suck to me. That's going to put a hindrance on me. No! Why? The void was mine to command! How could it? God, I hope I didn't screw this up. I should have pushed faster. My team is fast, but... I'm going into this part weakened, and I'm not liking that. Alright, well I'm going to be using the lamps anyway once I get everyone up.
Alright, let's get to using up the lamp. Well, here's your first chance to see some of the summons in action. I don't know why you were so far down, but let's fix that. First starting off, Bahamut! Bahamut! Yes! Take that! Tsunami from Leviathan! Ah. Don't forget my friend Odin. Zanset Skookin! He's not dead, just the back part. It's a fake out. Take some thunderstorm. Sildra! Alright, Carbuncle for Ruby Light. And now here comes the important one I'm hoping works. Demon Eye from Show. Didn't work. Dang it! Alright, last time. Earth Wall. Earthen Wall. Golem for some physical protection. And we need to take out that bottom part quick. Really? This is not the time to be doing that, Krill. Aha! Vacuum Wave absorb that damage. I mean, uh, Golem's defense will absorb Vacuum Wave's damage. Alright, so they had no luck with Shout, but if I can take this guy out fast enough, which is why I wanted to speed so badly. The laws of the universe mean nothing! Which means he could be doing his Algamist or whatever, Algorist or whatever, here soon. Yeah, we still got three body parts. You can hear it go psh when one's destroyed. There's one. One got destroyed. If you could hear that. Another one. Yes! He is defeated. Congratulations. The game is completed. Bards for the win. That's right. I didn't even use the harp. See, the Bard's technique didn't take so long to build up magic. Ugh, oh, throwing scrolls mixed in, or casting black magic mixed in. Deadly. In the beginning, there was only the Void. But from the Void came four essences. They formed the crystals, and the world was born. Hope blessed the earth, courage blazed into flame, care and devotion turned water into the seeds of life. The passion for knowledge spread, intelligence and wisdom on the winds. If ever the void threatens to engulf the world, so long as the four essences still exist in man, light will be born anew. The four essences shall rise from the void and weave the light once again. Alright, enjoy the ending. It was a long journey to get here, but we did it.
The void is still here. But but we beat X Death. Is it because the crystals are all gone? The world will be engulfed by the void. Hope bless the earth. Ah! Okay, crystals, just go. You don't gotta like throw me around. Courage, light the fires. Ah! You don't like it. Doesn't it look like a pig's body when her head turns around? Devotion. Breathe life into the waters. Look at the back of her head next time. Rewind. Kind of looks like a pig. Passion. Spread knowledge on the winds. Oh, funny. There wasn't a crystal there before. Seems like the crystals are going where the tablets were. They found new homes. And yes, we did not see all the tablets, so... It's not a surprise. You didn't see where some of these were. The void is gone! Parts of town returned! Ancient library returned! Tycoon returned! The world, it's being reborn! And the crystals as well. Look at that! Doesn't it look like a pig? You can see it. I know you can see the ears and the head tilted. There was still power remaining in the crystal shards. You're not looking hard enough. It's get too biggie. Thank goodness. Lena, Ferris, Krill. It's because you took such good care of the shards. Don't forget yourself, Bartz. How am I jumping in space? Or Grandpa? Now. Wind will return to Tycoon. Correct, my dear. <gasps> Dad! Papa! Grandpa! Father! Kelger and Zizat. The world still needs you. It's too early for you kids to be meeting us. Go, return to your world, the one you saved. Oh, and Lena, you got something on your head. Oh, come on. Actually, there's another side story we didn't see because we didn't go get Phoenix Summon at the tower but yeah he was reborn as the phoenix to help us out and Sildra was reborn as a summon as well but these are all things I did not do because 
I can't summon! So I tried to focus on the actual accomplishments I could do. But it can always be done at a later time if wanted to be seen. And finally, the last shard becomes the last crystal. Whole once again. Oh, we never got the mine crystal either. Cause, uh, no. Grandpa! It's just not worth it. A letter's arrived! Look! It came in a book! Mid, how are you? It's me, Krill! Somehow, we made it back. This video is going to run extra long because there's quite a bit of story still to go. But considering this is our last major video, enjoy it. Feels like that fight was just a bad dream. Since then, I've traveled all over. Seems like everything's become peaceful, like before. The Chancellor of Tycoon seems quite happy. However, Ferris seems worried about her pirate crew. Holy crap, she's a ghost. She just went right through that window without opening it. Everyone in Ball is worried since they have no blah blah missed it. Probably should be reading faster. Maybe I'll be queen, as if. It'd be pretty cool though. Hee <laughs> hee. Bards went back to his hometown. He's not giving up traveling, but he said he wanted to spend time near his parents before he set out again. Holy crap! Oh, Boko and Coco had children! Baby Coco Bubbles are the cutest, you simply must go see them. It's been a year since then. Lena and Ferris are busy with running Tycoon and all, and Bart's is off on another journey. If, if any of the others happen to ask about me, no, I'm sure they'll come. Tell them I can't wait to meet them again. Grill, you worked so hard. Everyone fought well. You will remember me getting my butt kicked! But then you will also remember me kicking someone else's butt! Because my name is Butts! And it's all about being kicked. Holy crap, she's a girl! She's pretty. Barts. What horrible things to remember, Barts. Kinda like this. Ah! Poisoned. Shot one arrow. Ah! Poisoned again. Stupidly walking across dragon grass. Ah! Being laughed at. Being hurt. 
Looking at the positive sides, huh? Couldn't think of better memories? Being embarrassed? Nothing like being embarrassed. Oh my god, she's hot! Or Sildra dying. Man, these are great memories. But, sometimes you gotta remember the good with the bad. Because they go hand in hand. The bad events in our life make us stronger. If everything was happy and good all the time, we would just cr crumble the moment something bad happened. And you have to learn to deal with both. And look how cool Krill looked, man. Just coming in, smacking people around. Somehow, I think it's a little biased here. And then the forest. Where we got Lena back. <laughs> if Grandpa hadn't saved me back then, yeah, back. The crystals have been restored and everything's peaceful, but for some reason, I'm sad. I just realized I forgot to take a freaking picture, so I'm going to do this battle again now. I forgot to take a picture for the completion. I guess it's just that, since Grandpa died, I've been all alone. I forgot all about the stupid freaking picture, but you know what? I'll take a picture of the video clip. That'll be good enough. I don't have to do the whole battle again. I have video evidence of it, me succeeding. I'll just replay the clip. Look at Goliath getting all like the hero stuff. Him being a ninja, him being a badass. Him being super grandpa. And transforming into the ultimate grandpa. Excuse me, I need to borrow this. Otherwise, I can't go Super Saiyan. Ultimate Grandpa Powers! See you, Grandpa. What are you talking about? You're not alone. We We were just spying on you. We're here with you. Fuck up, kiddo. We could have said hi anytime. Everyone, you made it. But instead, we watched you. As if there was any doubt, like I forget about a friend after we were together for so long. Everyone, you. Tears don't really suit you, Krill. You have to be strong. Gallus laughing at your blubbering, kiddo. King! Sniffle. <laughs> You're right. He, he is laughing. The crystals have regained their power. This time it's up to us to protect them. Like Dad and the others did. Say, do you hear that? Aye, that I do. Grandpa's voice? No, no. No, just the wind through the trees. The ripple of the water? The rippling of the water, sorry. Just the crackling of flames. 
the settling of the earth. Don't know. I'm not sure what it is, but... I can hear it. Yes, something warm. Let's go! What the? Okay, one's Boko, one's Coco. Nah, I'm kidding. It's three kids after a year, all grown up. There's no third adult chocobo. That'd be crazy. Alright, enjoy your credits. I'm gonna shut up from this point. Not much else to say. You can go ahead and turn it off if you like. They're just gonna run around the world map. Show the credits of all the people who made it. Uh, show us our characters at the end and what abilities we learned. Where you can see for a fact that I did not cheat or... Uh, change job classes at any point because nothing else was learned. And that's it. Enjoy the show.
Alright, this is the part I was talking about. They're gonna show us. Krill. So the Dragoon, level 39, jump, land, smoke, image, throw, hide, sing, equip, equip, and first strike. Only learn 10 abilities. So you can see nothing else learned outside of what I was allowed. And then we'll zoom in to the other three. Paris, 39, Ninja, Jump, Land, Smoke, Image, Throw, Hide, Sing, Equip, Dual Wield, and First Strike. Ten abilities learned. When it zoomed in like that, it looks like I'm not wearing pants. Or a really, really short shorts. It's kind of creepy zoomed in. It's supposed to be a ninja. I shouldn't see legs. Alright, Lena was my bard. 38, smoke, image, throw, hide, sing, equip, dual wield, and first strike. Eight abilities learned. I hope you guys could see how fun this game can really be. How it's not just an attack, attack, attack game. That you can actually play it with different styles, different methods. Pick people out different ways. Have fun with it. And Bart's, my other Dragoon, my 39. Jump, land, smoke, image, throw, hide, sing, and flip, flip, and first strike. 10 abilities. You really can have fun if you just sit there and keep playing around with the jobs. You can make bosses jokes. Have fun with it. Hope this, anyone who watches in the future maybe, gets inspiration to play the game themselves. Alright. For those of you special to me watching this, I thank you. I hope you had as much fun as I did creating this. We're almost at the hour mark, and this is the end of the game. The end is going to appear on the screen, and at that point I'll be stopping the video. Thank you for watching. There will be possibly one more video to come. If, I, if so, I'll see you then. If not, again, thank you for watching. Goodbye.